Moment of silence. Isn't that the best break rotor you've ever seen? Yeah. Uh, it's going to work, right? Because that's all the steel we have. We got a uh, dirt dragster now. <laughs> oh. Whoa. <laughs> Looks so good. Look at those tires. What are we doing today, guys? Drag rail. Hoo ah! It, the, the camouflage thing over there. Ta da! And today's episode of Cars and Cameras are 55 horsepower 670 uh, custom made drag rail makes a return. In today's episode, we're making some modifications to help more of that sweet, sweet uh, power get to the wheels. Special thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's episode. More on them in a few minutes. I wanted to hook it to the square body, but I didn't want to damage the frame, so I just left it sitting there. More out. Hopefully after today's episode, it'll be a lot easier to push. Yeah. Because we're reducing driveline uh, loss. Uh, now that our new shop is built, we have space for our drag rail to live and uh, maybe it'll make it out to the track more often than it has because this thing has been sitting for, I don't know, year and a half, something like that. Uh, in today's episode, Go Power Sports sent us new axles. They're Cremali, they're hollow, they're larger than one inch, they're an inch and an eighth or so. Uh, so they're stronger, they're lighter, and we're also going to eliminate this jack shaft right here. So we're playing with the gearing, we're reducing weight, we're reducing driveline loss, so theoretically, it'll go faster down the eighth mile. Theoretically. Yep. Uh, we only ever got it in the 960, 970 range. Probably got a 940. 940 range in the eighth mile. I'd love to see a 920, 930 out of this thing. I'd love to see an 890. I would love to see an 899 too, but uh, yeah. we might need a little bit of help. Maybe so. We'll find out. Eh. We have always wondered how much the drag rail weighs, we've never known. So we went out and bought some scales. So let's add it up. I'm gonna say this thing is 380 pounds. I, I, got, I got a question, I got a phone with a friend. Why do we got 40 pounds on this one and 73 on this one? Because it's not, uh, what do they call it? Corner balanced. Corner balanced. Okay. Um, could be a couple of things. Yeah, we have a the garage floor could be crooked. Yeah, the frame could up. be twisted. But ready? Use your knees. Mm -hmm. Don't use your back. This thing's heavy, and you've got to make sure you don't roll it forward or backwards. So whenever you're ready, bud. It's it's awkward, it dude. It's an awkward spot, I'll tell you. Yeah. All right, lower it down. I got it up. You can get the other one. All right. Yeah, lower it down. Ooh. Charles, on the Thanks rear on it. rear left tire, what do you have? I'd say about like 128. 128. All right. I think it's 152. 152, 153. 152. All right. And then for the front right corner, Dead on the money, 40 pounds. And then the front left is about 79. That is so weird. Yeah. That I is weird. Look at any it, sense. 79 pounds right there. Hey, man, uh, you know what? Could be the floor, could be the scales. Could be the scales. Why don't we uh, lift up the front and swap oh, the scales swap left to right? Okay, yeah. Yep. All right, this is 42. And this is still 70. So. 77, 76. Okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, the floor could be crooked. Like, if that's a little higher there, it's pushing it is. on this corner there. Yeah, it is. That one's the higher one. The rear right one so is higher. Down yeah, so, really so the floor is either crooked or the frame is twisted. And you can notice that the two adjacent corners from each other are the highest yes. numbers. So yes. that would be... So add them all up and tell me it's 380 pounds. 399. Oh, I'm good. 399. What? So this thing is 400 pounds. Yeah. This thing is heavy. 
Let's see how much we can take out of it, because we're eliminating a jack shaft. We're eliminating other stuff. We're going to hollow axle. I'm going to say we take out 15 pounds or something. So we'd like to keep it close to the same gear ratio, but we need a little bit more bottom end. So we're going to lower the gear ratio just a, just a smidgen. But we want to keep somewhere close to where we were at before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark this uh, driven pulley on the torque converter. And we're going to make one full rotation of the rear tire. And I'm going to count the rotations on this torque converter. And hopefully we'll be able to figure out if we've gone the right way or the wrong way on the gear ratio. So uh, one. Two, three, six. All right, there's a full rotation. Okay. That is almost six and a half rotations. So now we know our gearing is about 6.4 rotations of the driven pulley to one of the tire. We're aiming for about seven after we do our axle swap and jack shaft elimination. Let's get started. <laughs> Key. Yeah, these things can be gnarly, especially when you have a lot of power to them for a lot of time. Yep. Oh, mine's in the uh, sprocket hub. So the old axle is out. Dang. Uh-oh. Looks like we might need something from the... Uh crossfire table what's up man we're gonna have to cut those brackets off and make some new brackets something that'll fit these huge bearings the live axle kit has held up great and really the axle held up great too for a 400 pound vehicle with 55 horsepower yeah, uh, it's intended for a earth dog man it's intended for a go-kart, but it held up really good for what we've got. So, so the downside is that we had pretty gnarly wobble on takeoff. We did. And if you if you look at the previous videos of it, the early videos, you could see the rear shot, the tires would actually, when you give it gas, they would turn in on themselves, and they would, like, yeah, yeah. do the crazy back, the stuff. The back tires, you, the rear launch, it would just... Yeah, and you could really see on the, uh, when we put this thing on the, uh, uh, at the college, the dyno. When we put this thing on the dyno, you can see the axles bowing and stuff. Oh, boy. That's, that's why we're changing the uh, axles out. Oh, yeah. And we're going to have the extra benefit of being a little bit lighter. So, yeah. we call it adjustable rear toe. <laughs> Supercars call it rear steer, you know. Yeah. Or <laughs> Duramaxes call it normal stuff up front. You but this is on the rear. Yeah, this is on the rear. And don't be talking bad about Duramax. I like Duramax. I drive a shit. I drive two Chevys. We have our work cut out for us on these brackets for the rail axle. Uh, so we're going to get started on an early dinner, which leads us into today's sponsor, HelloFresh. Over to Ike in the kitchen. It's like Christmas time. It is like Christmas time. When Ike's in town, we stay crazy busy filming, rigging up projects, and being crash test dummies. That's why HelloFresh is the best. HelloFresh offers a ton of quick meal options between 20 minute dinners or oven fresh pizzas, and they taste great and they're easy to squeeze into a busy schedule. And HelloFresh has more five star recipes than any other meal kit. Yeah, so what are we cooking, man? What do we got? Let's see what we got. The special sauce house burgers. All right, looks like we are working with Yukon gold potatoes, yellow onions, potato buns, Roma tomatoes, garlic powder. I love garlic powder. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> Whole onions, cheese. Yeah, it's cool because after using HelloFresh week after week, I feel like we've actually gotten better 
at cooking in general. Look at those taters. Taters. But seriously, we've kind of mastered a few meals by now, and it's been so easy to make meals each week with HelloFresh because of the fresh provided ingredients and the straightforward instructions, even during our busiest days. Okay, I've got to wash and dry the potatoes and tomatoes. So I gotta say the, uh, the produce actually looks really good, almost like I picked it. I mean, look at those tomatoes. Look at them. All right, that's like a half inch thick wedge, don't you think? Let me get the tape measure. Do you really have? I'm gonna have to uh, half that. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna be thinly slicing the tomato into rounds. Look at that precision. See how thin. Is that is that thin enough? Yeah, if you can see through it, I'm happy. Peel and finely dice onion. There we go. Got a drizzle of the oil and garlic powder. Do you want potatoes with your pepper? I like pepper, <laughs> man. All right. We got Ike making the sauce. Bringing in Charles to cook the boigas. That looked like a pinch. Take it, buddy. Man, this is starting to smell good. Yeah, man, I'm pretty excited. So while you guys are finishing that up, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit more information about HelloFresh. First, you can save up to 30% uh, by using HelloFresh versus the grocery stores. So that means that every month, you might be able to afford a new clutch or a new torque converter for your project. Also, HelloFresh uses either already recycled or recyclable shipping materials. Plus, HelloFresh's produce comes directly from farmers. So it's always fresh, always delicious. Ike is making some patties. We're gonna throw them on the stove and uh, we're gonna be eating soon, boys. Looking good. Oh yeah, buddy. Let's plate it up. Looks good. Does. This is the burger patties. Does it pass? Yup. Charles, you're fine with the sauce. Mm -hmm. An apple tea. <laughs> There's the signature Ike eating food look. That's what we we're all waiting for. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That sauce. I like it. It is so good. I gotta say, this burger is exceptional. It's the cheese and the sauce, the way it all works together is what makes it very, very special. So I think we're gonna invite Charles's fiance over to have the last burger, and then we're gonna get to work back on the drag rail. But we have to say thank you to HelloFresh again for sponsoring today's episode. So go to HelloFresh.com and use my code CARSANDCAMERAS14 to get 14 free meals, including free shipping. All right, we're gonna finish up our food and get back on the drag rail. All right, here we go. Cover. Yep. It is kind of sad, isn't it? What do you think? Should we, uh... Trophy! Pass? We have our new Go Power Sports hub. It's not gonna work with our old brake rotor, nor with uh, a different Go Power Sports brake rotor. So we're having to build one from scratch. So Ike is out buying some material, and I'm gonna surprise him, because I decided to vent it with something clever. Here, there, gone the new motto for this thing. So as soon as he gets back, we're gonna cut it out, mount that brake rotor, and start throwing the axle back together. With that attitude, we should be in the eight nines. <laughs> Brake 
Let's see what it says. Here, there, and gone. <laughs> I could I could see you're playing with this thing all day and just laugh. <laughs> Isn't that the best brake rotor you've ever seen? Yeah, uh, it's gonna work, right? Cause that's all the steel we have. <laughs> Why would it not work? You look at him. He's just upset he didn't come up with it. I know he is. Where's the uh? Where's the paddle in the back? I might have just broke his stupid meter. <laughs> I'm just hoping that those uh, here, there, and gone are going to be okay on the brake pads. Oh, they'll be fine on the brake pads. We're not hitting the brakes. So Either that or the brake pads are going to be here, there, and gone. Yeah. Uh, well, the good news is the uh, holes line up. Is there any bad news? We have to oh, you're being a Debbie Downer about it. That's about it. Oh. <laughs> what, what did you do over there? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All I heard was here, there, and going with your fingers. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Is it safe? It'll be fine. We just found out that our brand new hubs are unfortunately the wrong lug pattern. But the silver lining is that we have some four wheeler tires that are the right lug pattern. So that means. Rooster tails in the dirt. Yeah, we got a uh, dirt dragster now. <laughs> so we're gonna throw the whole thing together and hit the track. Stop it. I caught fire. <laughs> I caught fire. Like, I smelt burning hair. Apparently, I, my hair caught fire because I had a big old burn up my pant or up my leg. Oh, that is perfect. It's got an open diff. It looks like a... looks like an... It's a dirt hog. It's a dirt hog, man. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I like it. <laughs> it looks like something out of Mad Max. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, this is painted too good. I don't think I like it either, but this is just for testing purposes till yes. we get our other hubs. That's, that's all it is. And we got to see how big of a burnout it'll do, so. Absolutely. When Ike welded our new axle hangers on the frame, we actually tweaked the positioning a little bit to try to get our corner balance more equal. And so we're also just going to weigh the whole thing for ha-has. Uh, just to see how much weight we've lost already. Of course, we're going to have different wheels, different tires. We're adding a little bit more weight, but we're going to see how much we shed so far. Okay. All right, I got 70 on this side. Uh, 52. Okay, so... You said 53. All right, so that's, that's better. A little bit. Somehow the back got worse. You know what we did? We took weight off of that side with the... Oh, yeah. Chain guard and stuff. Right. Interesting. All right, so in this setup with the different wheels and tires, looks like we actually gained 10 pounds, even though we just took a bunch of weight out of this thing. So what are we at now? We're at 409. Wow. What? Yep. So it looks like our corner balance weighing efforts are just not a good idea to do right now. With these steel wheels, off-road tires, without a chain guard, without one of the axles, somehow we gain 10 pounds. So we're just going to wait until this thing comes back together in the original tire trim and then weigh it. Hopefully will be the same or a little bit less than that 399 we started with. It's late, I'm gonna boys. I'm going to give you another reason to go get another sling. I've already, I'm already parked. Mark. You're parked? Mark! Okay. I'm thinking that this new gear ratio is like 5 to 1, which is not what we want. Okay. At the beginning of the episode, we were going to do an axle swap and also change the gearing. So now everything is tacked together. We're checking on the gearing uh, before we weld it all the way. And we're looking for about a 7 to 1. 3... Yeah. Oh, it's about to. Hold Four. On. Five. All right, there it is. 
So that's it. Yeah. So we did go five and three quarter. What did I say? Five. Five to one. So we need shorter gearing. So what we've got to do now is we have to either go smaller with this gear. Well, bigger with that gear, which we don't have that. But what we do have is a chance to go smaller with that one or bigger with, with that gear. Larger, more teeth, and that should get us closer to our goal. Good morning. We spent last night uh, kind of servicing the torque converter, the front jack shaft, just kind of checking things out. Uh, the final thing before we go on a test drive is to make a chain tensioner and chain guard. So I'm going to turn things over to Isaac and Charles, and uh, we're going to get this thing ready to go. I think that turned out incredible. Not too bad, not too bad. Check it out, Charles. Oh yeah. You want to handle that side while I handle this? Yeah. Thing? Is this what we're locking it with? Yes. All right. Cool. Uh, and washers. Ah, washers. Yeah. There we go. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Looks so good. It's almost time for a test drive. We had to figure out if we gained or lost weight with this setup, and. Every way we set it up, it looks like we gained about 10 to 15 pounds, which I don't quite understand, uh, but we should have a much stronger drive line now and simpler as well. So in theory, if we want to throw more power at it, it should be able to handle it because the axle was definitely our weak spot before. But we're going to test the strength of our new Go Power Sports Chromali hollow axle by uh, doing some uh, test pulls in the dirt. I always have a hard time with this thing picking up fuel. Oh, but it sounds good. Got it primed. Got it primed. Ready? Yep. Do we need to check the go, engine go. oil? Oh. It's good. Oh, we're good. Yeah. Look at those tires, man. I haven't heard this thing run since the first presentation. Wow. Look at them tires. Dirt hog. It is. It's dirt hog.
sounds so good. It's not throwing a lot of rooster tails though, but it's going. Yeah. Well, hey, how about we line it up on the smoothest part of the driveway and do a couple of testers? Should I put the helmet on? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I should put a helmet on. Looks pretty rough. Yeah. This is by far the best sounding it one we've ever so built. It so good. This is the cross cart, man. <laughs> Pre mufflers. This. <laughs> this. Um, it seems to be taking off pretty good with these tires Surprising. In, the, in the grass. I guess it's digging in pretty good. It's got some inside bite left, so. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's feeling pretty good, guys. Yeah, how about you pull it in the new shop and we can hear it in there? Yeah, we'll do a sound test. <laughs> Landlord's going to be mad. <laughs> hey, hey. Let's, let's shut the door before the boss comes in. That was killer. Thank you. That thing's awesome. It is awesome. I'll give you a left-hander. Yep. Charles, nice yep. job. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I know. <laughs> It's running again. Uh, we just need to get some different tires on it, and when we change the tires, we'll get that uh, key in there. The finger slicing. Oh yeah, and we'll make a, a guard. And a guard. Here. Need a guard. Yeah. I just don't feel that comfortable with that open. Yeah, we don't have right we don't have arm restraints on the steering wheel yet, so we don't even have seat belts. We have to thank Go Power Sports for sending us our new inch and a quarter hollow chromoly axle. Uh, should get us down the track a little better, safer anyway. Uh, and we got to get some new hubs on this thing, get our tires back on, and hit the track. Because this project is too good to sit. Yes, I agree. And if the axle looks rock solid, I say we figure out how to throw a little more power on this thing. I mean, it should be faster with what we did with it. Yeah, we're going to find out. Yeah. We're going to find yeah. out. Yeah. So leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode, and we will catch you next time. Oh, that's so cool. I'm just happy with myself. It's probably going to destroy brake pads, but... That's, a little, that's a, a little bit what I'm worried about, but, you know, hey, it'll be a learning experience, although that's our only brakes. <laughs> Test. Leave it we to gotta... cars and cameras to turn their brakes into a meme. <laughs>